Hi, I'm Zach Smith of the Whole Latte Love Sales Team. And I'm Eric Black. Today we're here to take a look at the Baranza Virtuoso Preciso. Um, it's actually a, a great machine, great for any home use. Um, you know, Kyle and Kira have worked very hard to produce the machine to where it is today, and it definitely shows in the end result. Kyle and Kira from Barazza, they have a lot of uh, passion for coffee. Uh, as you can see from, like, the, the Vario, if you watch our Vario video, you'll see some of the engineering that they put into that one as well. Yeah, so a lot of hard work, and it mm -hmm. definitely paid off. Definitely. Um, the first thing you'll notice is the looks of the machine. You do have the ABS plastic. Um, in the middle of the machine, on the, both the bottom and the top, you'll notice that there is the uh, nickel-plated die-cast aluminum. Uh, on the top, you do have your 8-ounce hopper. Um, nice thing about this machine, actually, is that it does have both macro and micro adjustments. So, um, Also, on the front, this is a manual button. <laughs> Press stop. Or you have a timer over here that if you turn it all the way, it'll give you 60 seconds of grind time. Nice thing to have that. You can adjust it so it's kind of a hands-free system. And just so people know, when you get these sometimes in the box, sometimes that side, the um, it, does come off. it does come off. It's just very simple. It just goes, goes right back in. It's meant to do that. Mm -hmm. So they, they just push it back in again. Another nice thing, too, is you actually notice in this one, it comes with two containers. You have your five-ounce ground container. And then you have the optional portal holder. What's nice about the uh, portal holder is that it actually is designed to hold your portal filter in there, so you can grind into it, um, you know, going along with the hands-free. Right, and it is adjustable to, to any number of portal portal holder or portal filter sizes. You know, it's just a very simple uh, screw adjustment. It'll hold anything from a 58 millimeter commercial portal holder or portal filter um, right to um, to the pressurized portal filters that you find in, in some of the smaller machines. And these plastics actually, they're uh, specially designed so there's anti-static properties to them. Can I say the words? Go ahead. It has inherently dissipative properties, IDP, and uh, it's just plastic that resists static. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this actually goes in. Another nice thing too about the machine is that it, it weighs about nine pounds, so it's a, it's a fairly Good weighted machine. It's not going to move around on your countertop. Also, there is. Let me show you on this one. A lot of the a lot of the grinders that are this size will have a tendency to vibrate, and they can yeah. vibrate on, on the countertops. So. Also, it has the uh, you know the rubber feet on them too, so it's not going to right helps it mm -hmm. from moving around. So. It does. That is the exterior. Let's take them through and uh, show them the burrs it has. I'd be more than happy to. Um, you've got your ground spin on the there, your your bean hopper on the top, and basically to get that off, you're just going to turn it, and you're going to note notice two. Uh, plastic nubs on the side. One is wider, one is narrower and vertical, and they just fit into the two uh, slots that are on the inside of the machine. It actually goes one way only, too. It does, yep. So you, know, you simply put it in place and turn it, and it, you, you can't overturn this. Yep. That's a nice thing. Now, to be able to get to your burrs, it's pretty simple. What you're going to do is you're going to take off this rubber gasket. This helps from, this keeps beans from dropping down into this space here. So that just simply hooks into the, uh, the retaining ring, uh, the plastic retaining ring. That comes out, as simple as that, and you've got your upper burr and your lower burr. Now this is nice because, and this is a group brush, and yes, I do like using a group brush because it's a little bit stiffer and it can really, it can really get any of the, um, the excess materials off of the burrs, but you can clean, clean out very nicely in there. Also, we... Uh, you know, we recommend that you uh, get grinds, Ernex grinds, mm -hmm. which is like a, a, it's a pellet that goes down in and cleans the burrs off. So that's how you would get the, um, the burr cleaned. And these just drop right back down in here. Make sure you line it up. There's a little red mark here. See that? And that just drops down into place right there. You, you'll see the, the marking next to it that allows it to. All right. The uh, burrs in this are actually 40 millimeter conical burrs. Um, it's a, they're hooked up to the gear reduction motor, and it actually spins at 450 RPMs, which is unique um, in the fact that it gives it an impressive uh, output. It's mm -hmm. putting out between 1.8 to 2.5 grams per second. So it's, it's the fastest in its class. It is, it, it, and it's very consistent mm -hmm. and very good grind. Now, one more thing. We'll, 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 um, if we take another look at this, we can talk about the adjustment of this. You actually have, up on the top, in the macro adjustments, you've got, you've got 40 different settings. So you can actually see if you adjust this, let's say, to a 10 on the macro, then you can adjust the micro. And you can see the micro is, is A, B, C, D, all the way up through. You've got 11 different settings there. And one so of these is equivalent to one step on the, the macro. The full range of this is equal to one step on the macro. So you just basically would adjust this. The micro adjust it. 
it's kind of like a, a telescope. Yeah. Uh, you, you have your macro adjustment, a micro adjustment, and a telescope. So this is very easy to replicate. Now you've got, you've got over 400 settings that you can work with. So you can really fine tune this where you want the, uh, the setting to be. So dialing this machine in, is, it's nice to be able to do. Now the settings on this one thing that, that um, Kira told us from Barasa, if you do Turkish blend, or anything like that, they can actually walk people through how to calibrate this even finer for um, for Turkish blend if they want to do that. That was the in-depth look at the Barata Virtuoso Preciso. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Once again, I'm Zach. And I'm Eric. Thanks for joining us. Thanks.